Special Agent Fox Mulder here. Down at Tramway Road in Morwell. And uh, got a bit of construction work going on here. We've got a green highball. So expecting a train to be coming and there we go. Just was to say that. There's a very fast train. Passenger service. Heading our way. At least I think it is. Should be coming from down there anyway. Got the green eyeball. Yeah, so we're about at Morwell. About 160 uh, kilometres southeast, or east, east, actually the east of Melbourne. And uh, there, there's the light. Awesome. Um, yeah. And Victoria, Australia. Down here on the Great Rail Hunt. Got some busy beavers over here. Just finishing off some of the uh, the side off infrastructure. Tracks them up and running. This guy will be doing about 140 k's an hour or about 90 miles an hour. So hold on to your hats. White screen mode. On salute, all right. Okay. Official term for that is, he was motoring, Jack. Awesome. All right. We'll pause it there. We're going to get try and get some, uh... oh, actually, look at that. Not a bad looking rig there. Okay, yeah, we'll pause it there and we'll, uh, we've got the uh, paper mill train coming at some point. So just over the top of the tracks there, you can see the, uh, that's a uh, turnout to the Australian paper mill, which is unfortunately closing, but it's still operational at the moment. We still get a few trains coming through here. And also, I mentioned yesterday that this track line here, or along here, this, uh, that it doesn't go any up to Sydney or anything, well, it actually does interconnect with a lot of stuff it actually goes to queensland but it's not a direct track there's all sorts of little deviations i'm sure somebody will be able to, uh blah, 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 blah. i'm sure somebody else will be able to write in the comments about what the go is here so currently got a red highball on both go a's so it's not too worrying i'm waiting for this paper train i really want to get this beggar okay this is the part major model likes Switches. Turn that out to one. Switches. Changeovers. And looking like three sets of tracks. This is what, uh, besides the actual train itself, Special Agent Fox Mold is all about the uh, infrastructure. And we even have an old mechanical switch here which works obviously, you can see by the lever pulls that long shaft backwards and forwards that's old school cool that they've kept it here I don't know if it's still in working order but it's, not, it's just cool that they've kept it here it does have some power running through it, you can see the lead coming out but uh, yeah, there's our switch right there and our switch uh, screw jack uh, yeah, that's uh, look at all those uh, that cross bracing and everything across there, yeah. All good anti derailers, of course. There, so, alright. So, still two, uh, well, no. There we go, we actually changed to a, uh, we've got a green highball up there, pointing towards the sun. Alright, so that means we've got a train ahoy. So, what we have here is actually a uh, barcode reader for the, uh, Freight train to go past. So we have the barcode on the side, and uh, as it goes too past this beggar, it actually uh, reads the barcodes off, and that's for tracking. Not only for the rail companies, for uh, people can track their own packages as well. Here's a bit of interesting kit. People have probably seen these before, but as you can see, the rest of the rails on it, and rolls down through before the train. And that's to capture any 
pollutants, rust, you know, uh, oil, grease, blood and guts, so grease off the rod, the whole thing. So, yeah. This is like cactuses uh, with rope around them. Yeah, so if you want to ride in, tell me what those are called. I don't know their official term. I'm just calling them cactus rope catches. Old uh, ceramic uh, piece of uh, electronic kit used to run across the track there. You can see the uh, ceramic and uh, the bell shape representing uh, some sort of resistor or whatever. Not sure, unsure, but yeah, it's just sitting down the side here. It's a relic. All right, very fast train ahoy. BFT. We're gonna try and watch him knock the signal down this time. out there's a signal there we're going to try and watch him knock it down sorry I was just uh, dangling the phone down there for a minute I didn't realize it was still recording and there's the light Yeah, he's really moving. Got his horn. He's got his, uh, obviously, uh, sound that because we've got construction workers on the side. They're not working on the track, they're just working to the side. All right, widescreen mode. Bang! There goes the signal. Awesome. I like getting that when they do that. He wasn't travelling quite as quick. I'd say about 100 k's an hour, about yeah, about 60 k at 60 miles an hour. All good. He probably had a bit of a slow order going past these people. All right. A little while off for the uh, freight train, but we will be here. Garbage truck, oh boy. Look at the size of these towers here. This is uh, a little line there. Uh, Morwell's actually, well, the Trade Valley is the uh, main central power hub for Victoria, some of New South Wales, and some of South Australia. So the uh, Hazelwood plant was over there. It's been shut down. They're actually filling the uh, massive, uh, the massive uh, hole in uh, with water at the moment. So that's a pretty good idea. Instead of building a dam, we've already got one there. Yeah, you can see a massive amount of uh, power infrastructure. Simply because the powers are just the powers coming from around, the power to come from here, basically. So green high ball ahoy! BFT, not far off. Okay, okay, BHT, VH, treats BFT ahoy. He was motoring Jack. Absolutely flicking along. Alright, by rice the next train should be the Australian uh, paper train. So I'm going to pause it there, I'm running out of flame and battery.